Bears. This one uh, from Dog Pound Daily. Defensive tackle, definitely an area the Browns um, looking to upgrade. Three free agent defensive tackles who could uh, still be pursued by the Browns ahead of the 2022 season. Number three, Linvale Joseph. Uh, number two, another veteran, Nandama Kinsu. And uh, number one, Tyler Davison, who is... Um, was with the Atlanta Falcons, uh, now a free agent. Let's welcome in Spencer German from 92.3 The Fan. Uh, Spencer, I, I know you, we've talked about defensive tackles. I don't think the Browns are going to pursue any of those veterans that are free agents currently. Your, your thoughts, we went, we went Joseph, Sue, Davison. I don't, I don't think those kind of fit into what they're doing. I think they'd have already been here if they were going to be here. Yeah, I tend to agree. Um, I think that list is fair. It's guys who are out there who have some, obviously, experience in this league, um, some more than others. Obviously, Sue being the the notable name of the group. And obviously, the, the Browns were linked to Indomitian and Sue right around the time the training camp got started. But those rumors are kind of put to bed. So, I, I for whatever reason, and we've seen this with the wide receiver group too, Dave, they seem very inclined – to stick with the guys they have in, in in this on this team and on this roster, that doesn't mean they don't add anybody. I, I think you know that roster cut down day, which is coming up obviously in the next week or so, is uh, is a big one to watch. Where guys get released around the league, sometimes there's some surprises, and then a team like the Browns could swoop in and grab somebody. So it's not to say they won't do anything, but I agree with you in that these guys who are all still available probably unlikely that they get added in the next week or before the season knowing that you have that roster cut down day and knowing that they could have added them by now and they just haven't decided to so yeah i'm right there with you yep i, I think they they probably have their eye on on a couple wide receivers a couple defensive tackles that if they become available they may try to